Good afternoon and welcome to my daily talk, in fact episode number 449. And today's topic is a little different from the ones I've done in the last few days, which is um, being stuck is a choice. And remember you have the key. I'm going to break that down, explain a few things and give you some examples so you know where I'm going and where I'm coming from. Before I do that, let me choose myself formally, um, as I do every time, which is my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's episode is number 449, so I'm getting up there in numbers. And inspired by a couple of articles I read and a couple of other conversations, I have this topic to talk about today, which is being stuck is a choice, because it is, and I'll explain what that means. Also, by the way, if you watch my broadcast, normally they're at 5 p.m. Pacific time, and I did it a couple of hours early, because I've got another commitment later on today, which I won't be able to do my broadcast as I wanted to. So if you're catching me for the first time, no, normally I'm at 5 p.m. Pacific time, but today is a th- two hour early, and if you're here now, lucky you, you get to join me in my broadcast. So, um, jumping right in, as I like to get this to the point and give you some useful tips you can get in a few, a few minutes. It seems that a lot of people forget that they have choices, and I'm speaking to this from a point of view of, um, well, I'm speaking to it in the area of relationship. However, I'm also going to talk about in other areas like life, like business, money, other places too, because I'm realizing more and more as I, as I review this subject matter, this topic, is I see this um, mindset, limited mindset, play out in many areas. And if you've been wondering why you may feel stuck in certain areas, you may want to watch this and get some insight and understanding from what I'm talking about. So, um, referencing also last night, I was um, lucky enough to meet my friend Marcy Cole's first Tuesday event, and the guest speaker last night, who I've seen me speak before, is Dr. John DeMartini, who is very much on the idea of about financial prosperity, but he broke down some stuff that was like, <coughs> makes sense. And I see the presumption of stuckness that we carry, and this is the thing. Being stuck for many of us is an assumption, not a truth. And once you understand the difference in that point and know there's actually a range of um, freedom that you haven't embraced, then perhaps you might see a shift that you no longer need to stay stuck in the place you've been stuck. Again, not just in relationships, but it could be money, health, fin- fin- um, career, it could be any area really, because we as human beings have a bad habit of setting up boundaries that aren't true for ourselves, that are limiting ourselves, and that are pl- putting us in a position where we're stuck. Because we put these boundaries up, they're so containing, we have no freedom to move. And I feel I need to give some examples. An example. <laughs> I'm going to speak to the career one first, because I've been through a few jobs. Um, I'm not sure if I've shared this before or not, but I've had, a, have I, I've had at last count eight other careers before this one. Um, I'm not the person who goes to work for, not, for 40 years in the same, sorry, I'm kicking the table, I shouldn't do that because it jumps the, microphone, jumps the camera. I have, apart from living in four countries, I've also had eight different careers. And let's put it this way, to choose a nine to five job for 40 years until I retire was not in my makeup, my DNA. It was not what I was meant to do. And in fact, staying in a job for more than a dozen years was beyond me either. I mean, I've had career changes and, and many job changes too. But I also know there are people out there who have felt themselves stuck in a career choice or in a job location that is not the reality of what's possible, but they hold that place of being entrapped, entrapped and stuck versus considering possibilities because they've actually painted those in a corner. Oh, here's the, here we go. Stuff showing up now, we've got feelings come all over the place. So, let me give you a little story that I've been said many times in personal growth seminars. I've heard it a dozen times in different teachings, but I'll give it to you now, which is the story of the elephant and the string. And if you haven't, if you heard this before, go along with it because it'll make sense. If you haven't heard it before, listen closely as I tell you, as I weave this story for you. It's been said that elephants, if you've ever been to the circus, which they don't do much anymore in America, I'm, I'm pre qualifying everything. So, at the circus or a place where there are elephants that are out um, in places, oftentimes they are tied to a stake in the ground or to a, some sort of fi- uh, fixture with a rope, maybe even a string, I mean just a small piece of rope. Now if you know what elephants are like, they are 
more powerful than bulldozers. They can pull, push anything they want, but they stay docile connected to that rope. The reason why is that when they are young little, um, I don't know what a young elephant would be called, a pup, no, baby elephant, I call it baby elephant. Baby elephants, when they're born, when they're in, and this is, this is really old time because circuses don't do much elephant work anymore, but back in the old days with the circuses, the elephants would be, when they're babies, tied to a really thick stake in the ground with a rope that they couldn't pull. And the thing is that when they're babies, their strength isn't as strong yet. They're very they're clumsy, they're still working their way around, and so they basically couldn't pull themselves out of the ground. And they try and try, it wouldn't happen. And over a few months, maybe in a few weeks, the elephant basically would start to realize that it couldn't escape and it would give up. Many, many, many years later, elephants do have good memories, as an adult elephant, it would basically be tied to a pole with the same thin rope, which it could rip out with one flick of its, t- of its trunk, but it wouldn't do that. Because elephants have been, in this situation, have been trained to feel that they were limited, that they were stuck. Now, you may be thinking about your life and going, ooh, I've got a string tied to that pole over there, and a string tied to that pole over there. It's not really holding me. I'm holding myself. And this is the thing I want to make sure you get this point, this understanding, that in areas of your life, you may feel that things aren't working for you because you have no choice. And when you have no choice, you feel stuck. And that stuckness is a self-imposed limitation. You have the freedom to change anything in your life. It's a matter of choice, though. Now, I know for some people in the conversation about relationships, you can be stuck in a relationship that you hate and don't want to leave. Now, if you've got situations where you have financial bindings or familial ties where you have kids and stuff that are getting divorced and separating are very painful, that is truth. I understand that. But, pre- pre- but pre- I was say, pre- prejudicing yourself or, or presupposing, I'm not sure which, which word comes out, but to prejudice yourself, I'll put it that way, in that you're stuck is not correct because what's happening is you are choosing and this is the key you are choosing to stay because of the kids or the financial agreement or whatever it was you're not stuck you're making a choice and the reality is when you know you've got a choice you have freedom the opposite of stuckness is freedom and the difference between the two is understanding you have a choice and the reality is and this is going back to uh, Victor Frankl actually he wrote this in, in um, what was the book he wrote um, Man's Search for Meaning that was the name of his book classic book he talks about in the book how if nothing else the choice we have is over our attitude because the situation he came through being a prisoner in the war, in world war ii in, t- in the concentration camps he realized he couldn't escape he was trapped but he didn't feel stuck because in his mind he imagined himself free to do other things and he actually realized that his ability to f- think independent of circumstance was his freedom and his choice that's true for everybody and the understanding that we have that choice in any situation or scenario, be it we're injured or we're dealing with cancer or dealing with a bad relationship or dealing with financial challenges or whatever it is we're challenged by, know that none of those things have you stuck unless you give your power to them and you believe you have no choice. When you realize that what you're doing, and this is another piece, one powerful key, is that any of the things you pl- place you feel you're stuck in your life, as I mentioned that whole list, if you realize when you realize excuse me, if when you realize that you have a choice over any of those circumstances when you have a cho- when you always have a choice then you know that one you have power use your power to choose and two you can change your choice and that removes that sense of being stuck that's the key that I mentioned in the title and f- and I'm not going to necessarily go into deep examples but I want to make sure you get this point because it's such a simple piece when you understand this it changes your life is those areas we think you're stuck, that you've chosen to be stuck in, you have the freedom to choose differently. Both make a different choice and to know you have the power to choose in the first place. Those two pieces are keys that will change your life in any area. That, by the way, is probably one of the golden rules of life that you may not have gotten before. So I hope you understand this piece. It's so vital to understand this simple truth. It will change your life. And I think I've belabored the point enough so you understand where I'm coming from. In the area of relationship, I've watched people suffer in relationships beyond the time they're meant to stay there because they feel like they can't leave because of loyalty or because of some of the rules that they set up in their head that aren't true. Again, these keys, these pieces of reminders of the choice you have let you know they have the freedom to walk away. 
Now, if you don't, know that it's your choice not to walk away again. It's not about being stuck. It's a choice you've made to stay. Because the reality is you have the power to change your choice to something else. And by knowing this, realizing that you have this choice, will give you, one, your power back, two, a whole different level of self-esteem, self-support, and three, options. And stuckness doesn't give you options. Understanding of the choice does give you options. So I think I've gone into circles enough to say this point. The key to freeing yourself from stuckness is realizing you, you, you put yourself in that stuckness. Any circumstance you're in that you can't control, you can control your attitude. As I mentioned, Viktor Frankl talks about that. That's the harder one to do, I understand. But if you're in a situation where you know there are choices, but you're ignoring them, and here's a clue, by the way. Oh, here's a big clue. If you're in a situation where you're complaining a lot, that's a clue that you're pretending you don't have a choice. And you do. So your signpost, your indicator, that you're actually um, ignoring the choices, ignoring the open door behind you, for example, is because you're complaining about the closed door in front of you. I hope you get this lesson. This is a big one. If you're looking at the door in front of you thinking you're stuck, but you're oblivious to the one behind you, or in fact, even more, you know there's a door behind you that's open, or you haven't tried the door to make sure it's locked, because it might not be, and you complain about the door being locked, that's a clue that you haven't been willing to look at the choices you have. That piece alone, that key, will unlock the door, literally and figuratively, to the rest of your life. So my invitation to you is to look at those areas in your life where you may have felt stuck or may have felt trapped, and consider the possibility differently that you can choose something different. And if you understand that, you've passed the class. <laughs> I hope this made sense to you. This is a this is a, a, a profound teaching I'm giving in basically in 10 minutes that could change your life. So here's a couple of things I want to just let, let you know about. Possibility thinking and dealing with what-if scenarios is one way of tapping into the choices you make. And with my clients, one of the things I do with them a lot of times is seeing things they can't see because I have eyes they can't see with. That's another part about working with somebody else. When you work with a coach, or with somebody who's a, a guide that you trust, is that they will see your blind spots and see the things you can't see or have refused to see. And that's one reason why getting a coach, working with a coach, because I work with a coach, is absolutely vital if you want to get ahead in life. So if you're stuck in these areas and you want to get some help, I offer my services, of course, in my broadcast to let you know that. Um, if you want to just find out what I'm about and find out how you can work with me, if you go to my website, which is barryselby.com forward slash chat, or click on the Let's Chat icon on the, on the navigation menu, you can sign up for a discovery session, schedule a time, answer the questions, and we can talk. No cost to you, just time. That's one thing. Secondly, I've been harping about this for a while because it's a simple thing we forget about, is if you're in a place where you feel stuck, one of the things you need to remember is you do deserve better. That stuckness can look like a wall in your face and you can't see where you're going. One of the best ways to change that is to reflect inside, rebuild your own self-esteem, self-support, self-appreciation with a little thing I talk about, which is self-love. And you may have practices you work on, but I recommend mine because <laughs> I'm biased, is I have a, a, a offering called a self-love mirror meditation practice. It's a simple, powerful, profound exercise that will change your life. That little practice is another piece that will open up the door of possibility to let you see the keys that can open the doors to greatness and also let you see that what you're in isn't the end of the world. It's so simple, but it works so well. Again, on my website, which is barryselby.com, click on the self-love practice. Or if you go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love or one word, you can check it out there. And if you like it, just sign up and get it. Those two things are my, my reminders every day. This is my daily broadcast. I'm doing it early today, as I mentioned, because I have a commitment tonight, so I won't be doing my 5 p.m. Pacific time. Usually, my daily broadcast every day, seven days a week, are at 5 p.m. Pacific time. This is number 449 in my ongoing talks. You can see my replays on my business page on Facebook. It's where they end up closer. They're, they're, let me say this another way. My personal page has lots of other stuff on it, which is where I broadcast live. On my business page, where I might start broadcasting from in the future, we'll see. That's where they accumulate these talks collectively. So if you go to that, which is barryselby.author on Facebook, I also put them onto YouTube for the YouTube viewers who don't do Facebook as much, so you may be watching this on the replay there. If you go to my channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, Messages from the Masculine, that's also the title of my podcast on iTunes, where these will end up as well. So on iTunes, you go to Barry, you go to Messages from the Masculine podcast, subscribe there, download them, listen to them, enjoy. 
this is my daily broadcast as ISA, sharing, supporting, and inspiring you to live a life that rocks. If you want help in this area, reach out to me. If you have any questions or you have thoughts about topics and might want to get help with, send me a message. I wish you well. Your homework tonight is look for those keys that open doors into your life. Don't be stuck. Know the choices you have and then decide what you want to do with them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.